Good morning, everybody. My name is Ryan, Michigan Storm Chasers. I wanted to hop on here and give you guys an update in regards to the upcoming pattern we see setting up for next week. I know it's a bit in advance here, but we are seeing signs of an active pattern that is going to be happening here for most all of next week. Uh, every single day that we see through about Sunday to Thursday has chances of rain, perhaps storms, perhaps severe weather as well. Now, we're not going to get detailed specifics yet until we get closer to that time frame, but the pattern is setting up to support the activity, which is why we have some confidence making this video. If you have questions in terms of where, what kind of severe weather, how much rain, stuff like that, we're not going to know details just yet, but the pattern is setting up. That's going to be active. We want to cover this as soon as we can, which is right now. So diving into some models here, the GFS and the European models are short to long range models that we use to forecast the weather in advance. So the GFS model in particular here, looking at your temperatures, you're going to notice something here as we head next week. So go ahead and zoom forward all the way to Sunday. All right, there's your system moving through tomorrow for the Ohio Valley. There's a chance of severe weather in Ohio tomorrow on Thursday. But as we get into the weekend, we're going to see these warm temperatures rise back up into the area. And by Sunday, we have a stalled warm front. You guys really can't see this on this map here, but the warm front is stalled pretty much right across the Michigan, Indiana, Ohio, Illinois borders, basically around the southern part of Lake Michigan there. What that's going to do, the warm front, Go ahead and cover that really quickly. The warm front being in the area, it provides a source of lift to get storms up and going. It also can enhance wind shear. It also can make things unstable. Anything south of that warm front will be unstable. Anything north of that warm front will be more stable, but still, still get some storms and stuff up there and so, as rain as well. But that warm front being in the vicinity is all I'm trying to say is going to help provide that source of energy needed for not only rain, storms, but perhaps severe weather as well. Now, moving into the Monday time frame, that front is going to stall pretty much in Michigan. There's your warm front again on Monday. We see it pretty well here if you guys know how to read uh, these types of maps here. But if you can't see it, see these little black lines are indented outwards to the east or to the right here. That is your warm front. You can see it pretty well with the colors as well, where this yellow up here is cooler, the hot or colors the reds are down here that's your warm front stalling out again over the general area this is monday moving into tuesday Check out what happens again. Your warm front is now, again, same areas here. It's a little harder to see on this one, but we also see a low pressure developing out here uh, in the plains. But that warm front doesn't go anywhere. It's stalled right over Michigan here still. This is Tuesday. Moving back into Wednesday, we see that low pressure move in. And we also see a really good return of warmth here, where that low pressure drags that warm front north. And as a cold front swings back through here to the west, moving west to east. The, class, the clashing air masses here may cause severe weather, but then another low pressure system develops out here in the plains for Thursday, and that also provides a secondary warm front. We see it here pretty well on the model. Again, right across Michigan. This is going to be Thursday, and then that low pressure swings that cold front through back on the west to east moving cold front there, swings it through Thursday night, and at that point, we get ourselves some cooler temperatures and a break. So all you guys need to take away from that is a warm front, perhaps multiple warm fronts and systems are going to be moving through next week between Sunday and Thursday. Okay, now when we overlap a couple things here, let's take a look at our instability. Instability is storm fuel. It gives us the energy we need for storms, but maybe severe weather as well. Looking at how this shapes up into uh, Sunday, here's tomorrow. We see a good overlap there in Ohio, which is why the severe threat in Ohio is existing. But we move, move toward the Sunday time frame for us here in Michigan. Here is Sunday. We see a good large portion of the region here to our south in this instability corridor, just brushing Southern Michigan. This could change. I'm not gonna say this is guaranteed locked to be south of us, but if this shifts north, Sunday may be a, a severe weather day here in Michigan. Now, Monday is the day it really starts ramping up to the further north here. Here's Monday, we see a large increase here of in instability. And by end of Tuesday here, we see it overlap into Michigan here. And then here comes that one first system on Wednesday. We have good returns of instability across the state. There's a good, Two, three thousand surface cape here. We only need about five to five hundred to a thousand to get storms up and going this time of year. This is three thousand. Moving on into the Thursday time frame, a repeat is right there. So instability is going to be sufficient, particularly South Michigan right now, but all the way up to the Mackinac Island area, UP may have to be a threat as well, at least for some rain. But for right now, this instability is sticking around further south. It's sticking better for their south, should I say. But last thing we're going to look at here is overlapping our wind shear and our instability. This is what 
parameters look for like severe weather and stuff like that. So a little bit better look into severe weather chances here. Looking at how this plays out, there's tomorrow in Ohio. We see the colors there lighting up. Moving into Sunday, though, Saturday has a threat out to the west there. Not concerned about Saturday, but here's Sunday moving in. And we have just a little bit of green color showed up down here in South Michigan. Not too much to be concerned about, according to this model. Again, that could change. But moving back into Monday here, it moves a little bit further to the north here across the 94 corridor. Tuesday, it really starts moving north here into Michigan. And by Wednesday, we have a good coloration here across most of Michigan from Mackinac Island down to the border of Indiana and Ohio. And then that's going to cause a potential severe weather setup uh, there for Wednesday. And again, on Thursday, a secondary system moves in. And again, a lot of color seen here in the region. So the main takeaway from this is activity, activity, activity. It's not going to slow down from Sunday to Wednesday to Thursday time frame there. What is it going to mean? Rain for sure. Looking at the temp or looking at the uh, rainfall accumulation here, we're going to see a really active stretch here. There's uh, rain tonight on Wednesday and a Thursday, one to two inches statewide. But also looking at the future forecast here of your rain, we're going to see a lot of rainfall in addition to this system moving through the time frame here. So, warm front, rain, storms, severe weather, all possible Sunday. To Thursday. Details still not known. These can shift around a little bit. These will shift around a little bit. So we're not going to get too detailed and specific, but the takeaway is be prepared for active week starting as early as Sunday, but more so confidence Monday to Thursday.